Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. It is week four of the vendor reset. Let's jump right on in. And first we're starting off with the Continental. It's not gonna be as good as last week, man, but it does have a couple things going for it. We do have the ORA, Steady Hand, and OEG, but we have Battle Runner or Eye of the Storm. Brace frame or armor piercing rounds and hidden hand and battle runner on anything's a really fun perk if you guys have never tried it, it puts you in a sprinting animation even though that you're walking so uh, even though brace frame brings you down we have a good starting mag and hidden hands always good this is going to be a decent roll just not as good as last week moving on to the Parthian shot and what we talked about in the review this one does have braced right so it gets that stability up so counterbalance isn't as necessary we have that combined with rangefinder and honestly since the mag is low partial refund is going to be semi decent in secret round we talked about that in the review uh, and it has the all important sure shot um, it's one of my favorite sights in the game for these types of weapons so it's going to be a good starter one uh, last week is definitely better with taken e uh, angel's advocate like the mita you can get into trouble with Brace Frame, but it has a really high inherent reload, so we're going to be okay with that. Eye of the Storm, Icarus, High Caliber Rounds, and then Hidden Hand. I would personally wait on this one. I mean, it could be decent just because of these two together, this Brace Frame and uh, Hidden Hand combination. And then we have the Range Lens Reflex and the MD Reflex. How dare you? No Range Finder, so it's going to be an immediate pass. X Asterisk. Spray and play, and then I believe Eye of the Storm. Um, it, it's going to be decent. It's a faster shooting one. Uh, there are better roles for this type of fusion rifle archetype. Teacup Tempest, and just keep in mind, this is a really good roll. We have Outlaw Reactive Reload with high caliber rounds. We also have Sure Shot, but things like Spray and Play on Special Weapons and then Reactive Reload are kind of nerfed because we don't have ammo. You have to actively look for a box for this perk to even be relevant, but when it is relevant, this thing rips. So it's going to be up to you. OKM's okay, Razor, we have full auto or close in or personal, we would pass. Seven cents, we have a whole bunch of long scopes. Hawkeye, long view, and then eagle eye. Grenadier or mulligan, skip rounds or small bore, and then take any. So take any is going to have that inherent snapshot. We kind of went over take any last week in the review, so keep that in mind, but we just have really long scopes. We would pass. Bone Crusher is probably the highlight of the Vanguard this week. We have CQB, Ballistic, Smooth, and Soft. So... PvE and PvP, we have Feeding Frenzy and Spray and Play, more so for PvE because of ammo, right, and PvP. We have Brace Frame or Rifled Barrel and then Counterbalance, so I would definitely go with Rifled. Brace Frame kind of gets you in trouble. It's a three bullet kill in PvP, and uh, it's going to be decent in PvE. I really like it in PvE, actually, so I would pick this up if you don't have this archetype yet. Then finally, disassembly required, and I actually I really like it this week because we have aggressive launch paired with heavy payload to get that blast radius way up with decent starting base velocity. Uh, there's also smart drift control or hard launch, but spray and play is going to pair nicely with the heavy payload and grenades and horseshoes. It's going to be up to you. It's a decent rocket launcher. Moving on to Dead Orbit and probably the vendor of the week in my opinion, and uh, first starting off, he has some really nice boots for the hunter. Uh, real quick, but the extremophile, right? And actually, I went ahead and picked this up because I'm going to be using it this week. The comparison between this and the Continental is not is, I mean, they're the same gun. They really are. They have the same exact aim assistance. One has more range. One has less stability. So that's really the key factor. I mean, aside from the recoil direction, which one is 47 and one is 48. So they are the same exact gun. But this week, we are trading out the uh, rodeo for high caliber rounds. Both of them have perfect balance and counterbalance. This is your trade-off. We have the Reflex, the Quick Draw, and the OEG. Different flavor, different things, high caliber rounds do work, so I do recommend picking up the Extremophile this week. Keystone, High Impact Scout Rifle. We have high caliber rounds, small bore, unflinching, and hidden hand. Gonna be a decent PvE. Again, I just can't get over the stability of the Keystone, but high calibers mixed with unflinching and hidden hand is gonna be decent. Focus Lens, Reflex, MD Reflex. Rules to come, we have Eye of the Storm and Knee Pads, not so much. Last ditch, we don't really have any good perks in the middle. We have Hammer Forge, Close and or Personal, Final Round. Uh, if you do get this, I would probably go with Field Choke, Hand Loaded, and Hammer Forged. Those combine to give you, a, you know, kind of close to a rifle to reinforce with uh, Final Round. Even though Close and or Personal is decent, but at this point, you probably want to get a Matador with some good set perks uh, and wait on this one. Bitter Edge, this one's kind of interesting because we have Firefly, Snapshot, and Clown Cartridge, along with the Ambush and, and Taxes. So th these are close sights. Um, this might be decent. 
uh, again, it's better than a lot of the other sniper rifles this week, but I would pass in the end. And the Unto Dust has horrible blast radius and velocity. Let's move on to Future War Cult. And the whale this week actually has quick draw. It's one of the things I was talking about, quick draw on a hand cannon. Uh, the whale is pretty much the only one that can do it nowadays in this archetype. We have the fast draw, steady hand, and quick draw. The only thing that, that's kind of lame is I, I wish that we had luck in the chamber here. That would have been decent because we have small bore, right? So it's high caliber rounds, quick draw, small bore, or third eye, then firefly. It does have one of the things that we want, but it doesn't really add up with what we have left. Moving on to the waltz, and it's decent this week because we have head seeker, and, but I just, I'm not a fan of these scopes, the red dot ORA2 with the quick draw in the rifle scope. So we have extended mag, which is gonna pair nicely with head seeker. Small bore is gonna get you a little bit more range and stability, eye of the storm. I mean, it's gonna be decent. The first week and last week were a lot better rolls with counterbalance with what we wanna do. Uh, the waiting, it's essentially the same roll as dead orbit again, or the uh, x Atras, one of the two. I would pass. The wounded, it's gonna be a good PVE weapon. We have the reflex, range lens, OEG. We have high caliber rounds or full auto with Outlaw in crowd control. I do recommend picking picking this up for PVE. It's a really good, really good scout rifle, the high impact. Um, I'm a fan of the wounded over the Keystone, I know. I know, I know. We have the Wormwood, best primary in the game. <laughs> you see it, it's still everywhere. Uh, high caliber rounds or quick draw, fitted soccer, army of one, reactive reload. Army of one's a good passive perk, especially on a sidearm, you're gonna get quick unassisted kills with it. Reactor Reload, it's kind of nerfed. I would actually go with the Teacup this week over the Wormwood. Warpath, it's what I get every single Future War Cult package, but let's see what we have here. Hard Launch, it's going to give you more velocity and blast radius. That's where you want to go. With Flared Magwell or Snapshot, Heavy Payload, Spray and Play, and Grenades and Horseshoes. Uh, and actually, this is going to be better than the Disassembly required, but not everybody is going to be with Future War Cult, because we are going to pair this confined launch and or hard launch probably hard launch with heavy payload and grenades and horseshoes that's what you want and I, but I think the disassembly required is gonna have a little bit better velocity on to the crucible quartermaster we have a very vanilla zero day dilemma and it's one the that you can get in trouble with it has a very low magazine and it has braced right so red dot ORA quick draw OEG I would go with either battle runner or grenadier both really good passive perks a pin and magazine, and then third eye, but then again, we do have an artifact for that, so definitely pass on the zero day this week. The B-29 party favor. This one does have take and eat again with range finder, with perfect balance. It's going to be decent. Um, last week did have counterbalance with the uh, sure shot, uh, but it's something to look into, but the low magazine outlaw might be actually a little bit better than take and eat. So, uh, hero formula, I, I don't like it this week. Now, now the palindrome, okay, the palindrome has steady hand, fast draw, or quick draw. We have mulligan, or partial refund, reinforced barrel, casket mag, and then luck in the chamber. So, we want reinforced barrel, that hits two cap, but rifled's a little bit better, so we don't lose that stability. If you don't have this archetype, this is one that, that's the most competitive archetype, I would actually go, um... I mean, both of these are, are hit or miss. I'd probably go Mulligan, Reinforced, or Luck in the Chamber. Essentially, it's going to be like the very original Palindrome, but instead we have um, Luck and Reinforced instead of Rifled and Range. And that, that, that vendor Palindrome, I hope you guys picked that one up when it first came out. It's probably the best that we have so far. Each new day, we're going to pass Curtain Call. We're going to pass. Actually, you know what? We have Replenish and Range Finder. It's going to be good for Defender Titans. It's going to be good for self-res warlock so keep that in mind uh the anton's roll not a good one event horizon let's see if we have nope we do have short gaze or eagle eye right so underdog or perfectionist armor piercing rounds perfect balance and take any and remember take any is going to have essentially snapshot to be in the back um you're not going to be too too aggressive with this event horizon without inherent snapshot or quick draw but take any does kind of have it there when you crouch Chaotic Neutral, Bone Crusher is going to be better this week, and then Something Wicked. Vacuum, Danger Close, Quick Draw, Javelin, and Grenades and Horseshoes. Well, you know what? The Rockets are pretty good this week, now I'm thinking about it. Aggressive Lotch, you, you, we've already maxed out our uh, our Blast Radius, so, I mean, yeah, I would, I would probably go Aggressive Launch, Javelin. It's going to be a nice Rocket Launcher with Vacuum and Grenades and Horseshoes uh, for PvE and PvP. And then at last, we have New Monarchy, and there's only one weapon, really, to consider, but 150 marks is a lot, guys, so um, that, that's why we don't really go too in-depth on kind of eh rolls, because this is kind of an eh roll. We have Persistence and 
in perfect balance. The weeks one and two are a lot better than this. We have reflex, quick draw, or rifle scope. If you don't have this archetype, I would wait. I mean, this is going to be decent. Uh, counterbalance really helps it out, though. Moving on to the hand cannon, we have the free will. Not so much, even though it has rangefinder. And preacher, not so much. Bad counsel, not a good roll, not a good archetype. Dep uh, the deposition doesn't have snapshot. It's going to be a decent PVE weapon because of triple tap and hidden hand. And then the first citizen... Uh, I just not a fan of this archetype without counterbalance. We've talked about this. Um, field choke, accurize, linear compensator. No real decent stability perks. I mean, small board is going to be okay, but we want braced or hand laid to go with counterbalance later on. And uh, that's going to be it this week, guys. And low key, if you are a hunter, he's selling a tier 12 gunslinger cloak. The speaker is, so keep that in mind. Hashtag master race. But I, there's not really too many good this week, guys, unfortunately. And I'm the top three, I, I can actually, instead of just putting on the screen, I'll tell you, it's going to be the Bone Crusher, the Extremophile, and the Palindrome. Uh, those are going to be not necessarily top tier, but they're going to be the top weapons of the week. There's some decent starter ones, mostly going to be rocket launchers, and then some, not even really to the user for special situations, maybe the uh, shotgun, the curtain call with replenish and rangefinder. But that's going to be up to you. Let me know what you guys think of the rolls this week. Um, I'm excited about the Extremophile. I'm actually getting ready to go jump in because I have work here very soon. But again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.